A girl didn't look like a fried piece of chicken. I don't care. I want to look shiny. I want to look like, ooh. Shiny, 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 shiny. Oh, this is my nail. I just ain't never seen nothing that was cute dry. So, you know. to my channel my name is Kayla V if you are new here thank you so much for tuning in click that button below so you can subscribe to my channel and for all those that are subscribed please I just want to start by saying forgive me like I literally I don't want to make too many excuses but I was slacking period point blank and I guess I want to just take this little moment to say to people because I feel like there's other people that may be going through something right now or just maybe feeling a little down and out you know a little discouraged or just a little stressed especially with this whole like everything that's going on in the world like i just feel like it's putting so much of a damper on people and it's really affecting you know people's work work ethic or and stuff like that so it sounds very cliche i know the whole get up and dust yourself off again and just keep going but like it's literally it's facts like just just don't give up i feel like that's it you just have to keep going keep fighting through everything's not going to be perfect you're not everything's not going to go the way you want it to go everything's not going to be lined up exactly how you want it to be you're not going to get the exact time and days and you know your schedule's not going to be perfect but literally like that's life so with that being said i'm back on my stuff i've tried to make myself more of a schedule even though i can't stick to it sometimes it's cool we are here we're gonna make you guys some content and i'm just sorry so i have people that are holding me accountable i suggest you all get accountability partner because it really helps and just you know just keep pushing keep fighting it's not over until you six feet under so hey if you're not dead then you still got some kicking to do so that's me so now we're back and as you can see the title of the video is about my skincare because I've had, had someone ask me before, you know, I took my little hiatus, um, about my skincare routine, routine, and I feel like that's the one thing that I've really been on top of since we are now, like, having to wear masks, and we can't really beat our face and put our lips on like we want to, because I hate the whole makeup on the mask and then put it, ugh. anyway. So, I feel like I've really been focusing on my skin and trying to get it all together. I look dry right now, but that's because this is the intro, so relax. But, I'm gonna come to you all, I'm coming today to show you all the products that I'm using right now and um like kind of how the the order that I use them in and kind of just the everything that I use on my face because this is going to be more of my morning time routine because it is daytime I just got up took a shower I just skipped my face routine so that I could do it on camera um I'll actually show you all a nighttime routine too if that's something I mean we're just giving content so we're gonna give that too but stay tuned keep watching I'm gonna show y'all exactly the products that I use and I love on my skin that I've been using lately and um where I got them from and all that good jazz but stay tuned keep watching and I hope you guys enjoy it okay so basically I've already washed my face so I'm gonna basically do the things on camera that I can't do on camera because I didn't want to do this video in my bathroom so I've already washed my face. After I wash, okay, this is the face cleanser I use. I use, right now I've been using a Vino's Positively Radiant Brightening Cleanser. All right, that's what it looks like. Sorry, it's a little makeup on it. But I got this from Walmart. Um, all of my, everything probably was under $10. I am a keep your corn type of gal, okay? So um, I actually do switch between two facial cleansers. And let me tell you why. So I do also use black soap. I got a new one just so that it looks better for the camera because my other one, I'm going to be honest you all, it looks like it's been used. So I just ordered this one just so I can show you all how it looks. And then um, I ordered this one because my other one I got from like a, it's like a flea market. So it's like they get this big block of it. But I ordered this one online and it's the exact same thing. I got it off right off of Amazon. It's African black soap. And I do not use this all the time, and let me tell you why, because it's very, very, very drying. But when I have, like, really bad breakouts, or if it's, like, I don't know what's going on, I'll just use a little bit of that on, like, a spot treatment type of thing. 
and it will dry out in advance. Okay, so I also don't put, I don't use like a washcloth when I wash my face, mainly because like, I'm not going to use the same different washcloth every day. And washcloths hold a lot of bacteria, so I, I, I actually ordered a facial brush off of Amazon. I'll include the links to everything below so that you all can figure it out. But the cool thing about this one, guys, can y'all hear that? It kind of vibrates. Let's see. And you can make it like stronger. Or you can make it not so strong. And it's double sided. So one side they're a little like, I guess we'll say more abrasive. And the other one is not as abrasive. And then it has like a little, I guess for like spot treatments. So I just kind of put my cleanser on my brush, wet it a little bit, and go around and enjoy the sensation of the, you know, the vibrations, okay? And I got that, like I said, from Amazon. Okay, so after I wash my face off, like I said, I don't use a washcloth. I use my facial brush and then I rinse it off. And then after I, I pat my face dry, I do not wipe my face because it's just too abrasive, y'all. We have to realize that our face is, is, is sensitive. Like you have to treat it with care. People are entirely too rough on the face. I know I am too. That's why I'm I'm here to tell you all that I'm trying to do better. So I'm trying to show other people ways to do better. And my grandma is like the queen advocate. My grandma and my great aunt, they have beautiful skin. And that's because they have literally been doing the same regimen since they were probably like teenagers. So it's just consistency is key and that's what we have to do. So after I wash my face with my cleanser, I use my good old toner. I, in my opinion, I don't think any other toner is better than good old witch hazel. It is, it's an astringent and it's like old faithful. Like I love witch hazel. I don't, I mean, I think it's easy, it's simple, it's been around this long and it ain't messed up. So if it ain't broke, ain't, don't fix it. So that's a good, I mean, it's all types of brands. I got this brand from Target, but I mean, I get them, all, whatever. It's just the one I picked up at that time. So it's almost done, but <laughs> I'm going to get another one soon. Um, okay. So I have already washed and toned my face. Okay. So now I'm going to show the rest of this on camera, but these are my other products. So as for my moisturizer, I use a Pearl Essence anti-aging moisturizer. Yes, I'm not old. Yes, but we all are aging. That's what we're doing. If you're not dying, you're aging, okay? So in this, it's retinol and rose oil. I love it. It smells great, but it's after that. I want to read it on the back because, like, I'm not a skincare pro, but... I do my research. I will do research in the aisle. Like, I do my research before, and when I go to the store, I know what I'm looking for. So that's what I'm looking for. So, you should know if you are, honestly, if you just are into skincare, you should honestly know that retinol is something that's really good for your skin, it's especially women that are aging when we're getting close to our 30s and above. We should start taking, you know, more notice to the lines that are going to just naturally form into our skin from our day to day living. So, we want to take notice to tightening up, you know, kind of firming the skin in areas that we can. So, if we can work on it, you know, kind of fight back gravity if that works. So, this is a rose hip seed oil and retinol facial moisturizer. It is a wrinkle fighting powerhouse. It's an anti age its anti-aging properties help promote collagen production to firm and tighten skin and make a more youthful look. So I mean, I want to look young as long as I can. So I love it. I use this as my moisturizer. Even if I don't, honestly, if I skip all my other steps, if I'm just going straight, what um wash tone moisturizer i'm trying to quickly get out the house i'm always going to use this moisturizer i love it i've probably been using it for a couple months now um i got it from cj maxx yes cj maxx yes i love marshall's cj maxx i love that face section home body section favorite section first place i go to when i get there okay so let me step back a little bit and kind of go in my order that I go to when I have time, when I can go lavishly go through my whole facial routine, this is what we're going to do. So, I start with my antioxidant moisture serum. This is a pomegranate, pomegranate seed oil and it has hyaluronic acid in it. Another thing, I guess it's like top of the list, hyaluronic acid, retinol, and... I guess all the vitamins, they're just really good things for your skin. They do really great things for your skin. It's like collagen. It's just all good properties for your skin. So this one is a pomegranate seed and hyaluronic acid combined to help rejuvenate and deeply rehydrate dull, tired looking skin. 
I like my skin to look really dewy and I like the I honestly like the greasy look I don't mind looking like my mother just sent me off to picture day in first grade I want to look like a grease box it's my preference so I switch honestly I switch between two serums it's the one with the pomegranate seed oil and I also have a vitamin C and hyaluronic acid brightening facial serum I just switch them out day by day because they do kind of different things but they're both things I need so I just switched them out my skin does well with them both and they're all of this stuff is by pearl essence I just like that company it's just a personal pre preference it's not like an ad or anything like that I just like them and uh, you know so this is what I go with so in the vitamin C one it vitamin C delivers powerful hydration while the hyaluronic acid helps plump the skin so I just switch out to these they're both serums whatever one I just didn't use the next day I just do the next so um, yesterday I actually used the vitamin C one so today I'm going to use the hyaluronic acid and pomegranate uh, the actually I'm sorry the yeah the hyaluronic acid and pomegranate seed okay so I just kind of fill up the dropper you know kind of halfway and I might do a line on my cheek a line on this cheek and straight up the middle all right and my fingertips I try not to I try to use my other fingers that aren't so much prominent when we're on my face because I feel like our pointer fingers are very strong so I try to use the other finger that doesn't have as much strength in it and I just kind of rub this all over my face all right and we also want to go on our neck I know I sound crazy but your neck and all of this this is your face as well it's your chin but it's all a part of your face so like all of this is necessary so you want to pay attention to it and I like to go in upward motion sometimes because gravity's already pulling us down enough so you want to push everything on up all right so when that's not so moist and you feel like it dries it pretty much dries away and doesn't really leave much of a shine or nothing like that but a nice soft dewy look but not too much okay and it still feel, doesn't feel like so much moisture so it doesn't feel like it's so much on your skin but it's light and I like that okay so after that now I go on my moisturizer um, all these serums you can use them alone you can use them on the moisturizer that's what I like about them so I go in with my moisturizer next with the rose oil and retinol and I'll just put a little on each cheek my chin my nose and a little on my forehead all right and like I said again just rub it on in don't forget about the under side and your neck all right so i love coconut oil but um i wanted i hate that it's like hard i wanted one that was already an oil so that's kind of my go-to i love coconut oil so this is a coconut oil balancing facial oil as well by pearl essence um so this is kind of what i finished with and i'll just put a little bit on each cheek and of course down my forehead and rub it all in of course avoid our lashes ladies because we don't want to you know affect those so yes if you're probably like girl you look like a fried piece of chicken i don't care i want to look shiny i want to look like oh shiny 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 oh this i just ain't never seen nothing that was cute dry so you know i rather shine so you know you just make sure that's all rubbed in well all right under the chin, up the neck. You're gonna look moisturized, sweating. All right. Sorry, I don't remember. Breathe this all off. All right. So once that's all rubbed in, I feel like people don't really make much notice of it, but your lips are a part of your face, and it's something that I really feel like I didn't pay enough attention to. And now I feel like I really love my lips, and I'm just more aware of them because I just didn't take care of my lips outside of wearing lipstick but now that I can't wear lipstick that often you know I've made notice of them so to end everything off every day throughout the day every night I end with my lip lightening I guess you call it a solve I mean I'm gonna be honest that's what they say but it's a lip balm okay it's from I got it off Amazon as well I'll tag everything below I love it this brand y'all it took me so long to get this 
little teeny uh, lip balm. Like it took forever. The packaging, so cute. I just don't like to put my fingers in it because I use it in public sometimes. So I always just rub my lip in it. It's a little ghetto, but I don't have to worry about any issues. And I'm the only one using it, so. So I end with that. And it gives a nice shine for it to be like a lip balm. It shines nice and I and it wears very well on the lipstick like if you're putting on a lip even the packaging said that like it's great to wear on the lipstick and it lightens your lips I feel like it's made my lips much pinker I've had friends that literally recently that were like dang Kelly your lips are pink so I mean I think it's working so but with all that being said pretty much we're done with my whole facial routine I feel like I love how I look right now I'm actually getting more confident with um, wearing no makeup because surprisingly I wasn't like I guess a lot of people like I just felt like I just had a lot of imperfections as far as my skin went and I, my skin wasn't very even and a little foundation could do that but I just felt like okay I want to be cute when I get up so I went and I did my research and I feel like I've got a nice set of things that really keep you know my skin going in the good direction and of course some things I have to interchange out when the seasons change but as of right now I feel like everything that I'm doing right now how the weather is is spot on what my skin likes and I really like that so I'm really big on kind of evening out my skin tone I have kind of combination skin sometimes I'm a little dry but I like to look dewy so you know and I have my occasional breakouts during that time of the month so I just hope that everything that I've given you all today that somebody could find something that they like and something that will help them with their skin and their skin journey like I'm on but below I will again link everything below if I can't find the exact link I mean I will try my best but as far as my oils went I did get them from my local TJ Maxx but I'm gonna be honest I've gone to TJ Maxx in all other areas and I've seen them there so I would check out your local TJ Maxx your Marshalls and I guess my facial wash and my toner I mean that's just Walmart and Target but if anything else that I probably could find on Amazon, I'll tag that below too. So if you all have questions or any comments, please feel free to comment below and I will answer anything that I can. And I just hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, thank you so much for watching. I apologize that I was not here, but we're going to get better and I'm going to stay consistent and I hope you guys continue to tune in. Go over on Instagram and follow me on there because I'm, you know, we're getting this thing going. We're getting this ball rolling and I got some, you know, surprises coming soon and some, you know, big things happen in my life a little bit so I just want to share all of them with you so stay tuned and keep watching for all of my next videos and I thank you all for watching again see you later bye guys this is my nephew guys tell him your name Sebastian James Edwards all right and he wanted to be in my video so I told him today so then mommy can see me right so I told him today he could be in my video and I'll insert it into my video somewhere so that he can have his part. So what do you want to say? Um, I wanted to say I wanted to see you um what you do in your video because I never been in your video. Oh, while I was doing it? Well today my video is about my skincare routine. So that's why I showed everyone the things that I use on my face. You should come over to me. Did you do not do it yet? Yeah, I already did it. You can watch it the whole thing later after I edit it and put it on YouTube. Okay. You are gonna put it on TV? On YouTube. Then we can watch it on the TV. Wait, it goes on TV too? Yeah. How does it do that? You gotta connect the phone to the TV. Connect it? Yeah. That must be hard. No, not really. A little bit? No, it's not how you hard. It's easy. Easy? Mm hmm. Can you just do like an app? Yeah, it's like an app. What do you do in the app? You just click connect. <laughs> you just click um, mirror. So it just put us on TV. I'll show you later. Okay? That's all you wanted to say to my channel? Yep. Yeah. Okay, you want to say bye to them? Bye. You got to come in here and say bye. Sign off. Uh, bye. Okay? Peace. So, see you later. Bye. Thanks for being in my video. I love you. See you later. What's up my blanket? <laughs> oh, whoa. I almost slipped my mind because I forgot. Tell someone you love them because they just might need it. Definitely, please, right now. We all need to hear it. So, now see you all thrill. <laughs>